Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Tommy T. And guess what we're here for? Another thrift haul. This is a winter thrift haul. So I actually went thrifting around the 1st of November but did not get to uh, make a video because I had some unexpected health issues. So this is actually the first time in about 45 days that I actually have clothes on. So um, y'all have to please excuse me in some of the try on portion of the video because I do not have shapewear on on one particular item that I'll show you in a minute because I just can't wear it. So uh, if you like thrift hauls, you're looking for stuff or ideas for the winter, um, I think this is the place for you to be. So welcome to any new watchers or subscribers and my existing subscribers, hello, and we'll go ahead and get started. So first to start off, we'll start off with this sweater. It's very festive. I bought this sweater about three years ago from the Salvation Army and never wore it, but I thought I would wear it because it's getting closer to the holidays. So just fun and sparkly. And the funny thing about it is I not only have one of these sweaters, I have two. And I found one at Salvation Army over by where I live and then all the way on the other side of town I found this second one and I been intending to give it to one of my friends who thrifts as well. I just uh, forgot to give it to her sitting in the back of my closet. But just a little funny story like you can actually find duplicates of things at the thrift store sometimes. Rare occurrence but it happens. Um, so the first thing that I want to show you guys is a blazer. You know I love my blazers. So this is a JH Collectibles. It's uh, a vintage uh, label I believe. I have another uh, blazer that is by the same brand. It's a houndstooth uh, cream and brown color with uh, tortoiseshell buttons on the front. So I'm going to show you guys and try on portion how I style this. Uh, next, found this animal print. Um, oh, let me tell you how much this uh, first blazer was. I believe it was $3. The place that I went to get all this stuff, the button the majority of everything that they uh, sell is around three or four dollars. So the next thing that I have is this H&M sweater. Of course I did not get it from H&M. Um, I got it from the place that I got everything from. It's called Bargain Hunters. And I paid about three dollars for it. But the interesting part about this particular sweater is the back has a zip that goes all the way down. So I just love, love, love that. So pick that up for three dollars. Uh, next is just a plain black turtleneck. Uh, it's actually from originally from White House Black Market. That's the name brand. But I got this from uh, I think Bargain Hunters as well. Can't remember. It's, I guess in the three to four dollar range. Um, but what I really like is the button details. It has silver details down the neck and also on the arms. So that's what makes it stand out. It's not just an ordinary uh, black turtleneck. It does have some uh, bling to it. So next, I found this, and I did not get this from uh, Bargain Hunters. I got this actually from Goodwill. And it's this color block, kind of like, feels like carpet almost. But it's a cardigan, and I just really like the pattern of it. One issue that I have with it is the sleeves are a little bit too short, but I think I can still get away with it. So I just wanted to show you guys this. And if I got this from Goodwill, I probably paid 6 or $7 for it. Next is this houndstooth wool skirt. I don't know if you can see the pattern or not. But I love wool skirts. I had a whole collection then I gained weight and can't wear them anymore. So I redonated them. I only have a few left. So I had to buy a couple to replace. And this is one of them. Um, nothing really special about it. I just like wool skirts and I like hounds too. So I decided to pick this up. And I think this was around $3 as well. Next I have a dress. And y'all know I love animal print, if you can't tell already. But this is like a cheetah print um, doll baby dress. And it's actually a size extra large. 
but it's just very oversized on me and I like the way it flows on my body. So I got this and to wear to wear it in the winter I went ahead and put tights on under it and a uh, camisole to keep myself warm along with you know like a sweater or um, a coat and I think this is really cute just being oversized and there's lots of ways that you could dress this up you can put a um, coat over it, jean jacket depending on where you live a sweater um, some tights or leggings the possibilities are endless so really like this and I'll show you how I style this up at the end of the video Next we have, can you tell that I like houndstooth? So I got this little houndstooth dress. It's like a mini dress, but not too, too short. Um, but I just really like a houndstooth, houndstooth pattern, if you can't guess already, along with my um, animal print. So I got this, and I, I, oh, I bought it with the plan to layer or a turtleneck under it since it's short sleeve and then to wear um, tights to um, be able to wear this for winter. It's also pretty thick so I think it is um, it's designed to wear in the winter because of the um, the fabrics really thick um, so you just layer it with stuff and then you have yourself a look and you'll see at the end of the video again I keep saying the end of the video and then last but not least, I was so excited about this. I found this sweater dress. It's floor length or ankle length, I should say, not floor length. But this gray plain sweater dress. And I've been looking for these for a long time and finally found one. It does have an issue at the bottom. I think it's just a little stretch and you probably won't be able to tell. But it's stretched out on one side. I think whoever owned it, it might have been too long for them. So they uh, knotted it at the bottom on the side. So that part of the dress is a little bit stretched out. Yeah, you can see it right there. Um, but I can just tie it in a knot as well. I don't think I did that for the try-on portion, but that is something that you can do if like something is stretched out at the bottom, like a long dress or something like that. And that is pretty much it for my thrift haul. Um, I did go thrifting again yesterday. I had enough strength to get out of the house. So I'll have a couple more videos coming your way. But um, this is what I bought early November. I just wanted to share it with you guys. I know I'm a little bit behind. But I'm getting better. And so hopefully I can um, continue to make videos for you guys to see. So you guys, please uh, let me know what was your favorite piece. Let me know some of the things that you're thrifting. Um, and what you would pair with some of these outfits. You know, I just come up with things that, you know, I think of. But I, I'm, I'm always open to suggestions. So, y'all let me know if I should add something or if there was something different that I could do. Um, just let me know. I'm very open to any suggestions. So, that's pretty much it. And uh, please stay tuned for the try-on portion of the video. Till next time. Bye.